What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. The toy leaks for Avengers Endgame have been coming hard and fast for the better part of three weeks. And while we've been knee deep in theories here at the channel, I thought it was a good chance to stop, catch up on all the important ones, including this most recent one confirming we will be seeing something called the Destroyer Armor. I know for a lot of you that'll send up a red flag. I'm going to break down what the Destroyer Armor typically has been in the comics and specifically what it'll mean for Avengers Endgame. I think it's not what you guys are thinking. It's a little bit different, but don't worry. I'm going to explain everything. First, if you could hit the subscribe button, we're giving away two. PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again at the end of the video. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the toy leaks have been coming hard and fast. And so quickly, I'd like to issue a spoiler warning. If you want to see Avengers Endgame fresh and new to the concepts and ideas, that the Rousseau's have in store for you, then exit this video now. But of course, if you already clicked on this video, chances are you've reconciled that inside of yourself. And so let's go. So leading up to this most recent Destroyer leak, one of the first things we saw was this Thanos Legends figure having the two-piece sword. We also saw some promotional art that leaked right around the same time, confirming that he would have the Infinity Sword. What I thought was super interesting about this was the fact that his left arm looks like it's decimated. Although important to note, this is a Build-A-Figure, so perhaps no one has that left arm yet. Then, within the last two weeks on Reddit, these LEGO figures started showing up. Now, this is Tony Stark in his Quantum Realm suit. He looks like he is in pretty rough shape. And these are the same Quantum Realm suits that we saw some two months ago when Rocket and Thor were leaked on the back of an action figure set wearing the same suits. Following this Tony Stark leak, we also had Captain America and Ant-Man alike show up in the very same costumes. I will also mention that a Thor and a Nebula showed up on Reddit as well, but those were quickly flagged down as they were certainly fake. You guys gotta know, people in their LEGO community are super Hawkeye and know exactly what these things look like, and they were very obvious fakes, although they did fool me initially i didn't report on them knowing better so of all of these leaks which do imply there is going to be some major battle in the quantum realm which is awesome and a leak unto itself i think the most important one was the most recent lego set confirming something called the destroyer armor now if you guys know about the iron destroyer that's an armor that iron man received dipped in uru metal from no other place than asgard itself and he goes on to use it and can defeat Thanos. It's called the God Killer Armor and or the Iron Destroyer Armor. And you can clearly see it mirrors the Destroyer from Thor 1. But of course, it's Asgardian, so it makes sense that the design is the same. However, this new armor being leaked directly from a Lego set description simply is called the Destroyer Armor, Sans Iron, and is actually linked to War Machine instead of Iron Man. And I like this for a couple reasons. While the God Killer or the Iron Destroyer, whatever you want to call it, is super cool. I think there's actually something way cooler in store for Tony Stark than simply upgraded armor. I also believe that War Machine's new armor, something we've seen in both a grainy composition from leaked concept art last year, followed up by high definition models of all said models inside the comp, looks like it's taken significant upgrades. And if the rumors of the Proton Cannon are also true, if you include Nanotech, along with the other rumors of this becoming the size of the Hulkbuster, you can clearly see why the name Destroyer Armor would fit what's in store for War Machine. Also important to note, Marvel Studios in the past, when at all possible, have used names and references to things to pay homage when it makes sense. And in this case, they could be using the name Destroyer Armor to make an allusion towards that God Killer Armor, knowing very well that they're not gonna show it on screen during Endgame or probably any time in the near future in the MCU. But guys, let me know what you think in the comics. Are you super excited to see something called the Destroyer Armor? Do you think that it actually will be Uru Metal and it'll be from Need of Lear and or Asgard? Is there going to be some sort of crazy time travel? They're going to get blessed by Odin. Captain Marvel's going to get that axe. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, all that stuff has happened. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, so we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros. We're also giving away this awesome Marvel Trendsetters limited edition plaque, 2500 run, each Avengers plaque containing 10 original film cells from the very first Avengers movie. These things are super cool and impossible to find. I got this one from the Marvel store in Universal Studios. If you want to win this or either of the PlayStations, same rules apply. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, 
then hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our new videos because the more videos that you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.